What is going on, YouTube? How y'all guys doing? Welcome to another edition of, you guessed it, American Hip Hop and Entertainment. This is your host, Joel Davis. If it's your first time tuning in, thank you for stopping by and being a part of this experience. So, I want to talk about... <clears throat> Relationship guru and the man who has sought the internet and women across the world on fire, which is Derek Jackson. Now, if you don't know who Derek Jackson is, Derek Jackson has been known to be the guy who women dream of men being. OK, he's the one that has always pandered to women and selling them a dream. When I say selling them a dream, I give you an example. He's the guy that quick to tell a woman that he is her knight in shining armor. He is Mr. Perfection and that he will do everything in his power to make her feel like that she is always in control and that, hey, every day with me is easy, go lucky. Guys, we already know, especially being an alpha male or if you are a, what they call a <clears throat> purple-pilled male who is married but still got a lot of alpha in you but even have your blue moments. No good and blame will. There's no such thing as the perfect fucking guy. Okay? We all, as men, make mistakes. Just like women. There's no such thing as the perfect woman. But in a relationship, it's all about accepting each other's flaws, getting past those flaws, and working on being the best version of yourself as possible. Let's jump into what I'm talking about real quick. So, <clears throat> recently it has came to everyone's attention that Derek Jackson has decided to let everyone know that he is getting a divorce from his wife, Denasia Jackson. But there's only one problem. It was all announced after Tasha K got receipts on him being with his new big booty Instagram model girlfriend. Uh, her name is the official pinky on Instagram, but her real name. Let me go put this up. Change me go into our, our, our heavily cam uh, right quick. All right, it's pulled up. I want to give you the right name. The real name in this is the woman that he is suddenly uh, sleeping with. Uh, uh, let, me, let me rephrase that. Allegedly chilling with. Because, you know, when you start saying sleeping with people quick say oh no we ain't like that we just friends is zana empress now her name is at official pinky love <clears throat> and she's a big booty instagram model just the same women that he always preach to stay away from in his books in his uh seminars I guess after you make 14 to 15 million dollars off of the pain of black women and other women across the world that listens to your bullshit, I guess that's the way to go, right? Well, let's jump into what Derek Jackson got going on here. Relationship guru Derek Jackson has announced that he's divorcing his wife. 
Jackson has been married to Danaya Jackson for four years, and the couple were prominent social influencers, and many envied their seemingly perfect relationship until it recently came crashing down. In a lengthy post on Instagram, Jackson addressed the split alongside a black and white photo of him carrying his now ex-wife with smiles on both of their faces. Over the past several months, my family and I have gone through many changes. Some of you have speculated while others of you have reached out to offer support as we privately establish this new normal for ourselves and our beautiful children. The emotional post begins. The decision comes after Jax admitted to cheating on his wife over a year ago in a confessional video posted to YouTube, which I would make sure I have the link of that below. Jackson then continues explaining how tough the decision to split was for him and his family. Earlier this year, after much prayer, counseling, and deep consideration, we decided to go our separate ways and file for divorce. Making the decision to file was one of the hardest decisions of my life, but I found peace knowing that our mission of raising healthy children started with healthy and whole parents is still being accomplished. He ended the post by remarking on the journey of love he shared with Jackson. From falling in love as just teenagers to becoming spouses and now co-parents. I'm grateful for the years we spent together and wouldn't trade them for anything. I was blessed to have such an amazing person in my life and would forever be thankful for all she meant to our family, he concluded. According to Bossup, the divorce announcement comes immediately after Tasha K posted a photo of Jackson in Miami at Art Basel Week with the mystery woman. Updated PSA. And this is from Unwind with Tasha K. Congratulate the new couple, the new Miss Jackson. Zana Impress at Official Pinky Love has already been exposed on hashtag Unwind with Tasha K YouTube. Check out the video link in the bio. <laughs> ah. Now, there was a lot of people going in on Derek Jackson. I'm going to read the first five comments, and then I'll put the link in this article, get the rest of the comments, because it's a lot. Uh, one guy named Nat King Carr over at Twitter says, Derek Jackson been announced his divorce from his wife weeks after she prayed a curse over people via social media. Boy, them tables going to do what? <laughs> and he got a video of people dancing. Uh, the next one is Derek Jackson filing for divorce was not a shock at all. Laughing my, my ass off. That nigga was really hoping his wife would divorce him after he was exposed for cheating. But she's a true through thick and thin woman. So he had to take measures into his own hands. Another one, Derek Jackson, ex-wife body proper. She just can't dress. I wonder why. Before the man versus with the man, Derek Jackson's wife, Danaya, was much better off without him. Getting wife isn't a win when he's literally wearing you down. Now, and this is from a uh, woman named Bajal, um, Bajal. Um, and you can tell that his wife was very attractive before he came into the picture or started this whole guru mess. Another one is Blade Penderhuges. Derek Jackson is the reason black women lose faith in black love. Because finding out to men who say all the things you want to hear are liars would have me triggered and annoyed too. Uh, and then last but not least, this one. Derek Jackson's uh, wife learned a valuable lesson. When you let MFers humiliate you they will do it again all right guys so let me switch over right quick it's time for me to put in my two cents okay all right my collective thought of how i feel about the situation 
I feel like that Derrick Jackson has always been a fraud. <laughs> I mean, listen, I feel like that Derrick Jackson have always wanted to be a free man. He never wanted to be married when he started getting all the fame. I mean, he wrote all these books, self-help books for women, telling women everything that they possibly wanted to hear but not needed to hear. And then when people like Kevin Samuels came on the scene, they were considered to be men that was toxic. How so? These were the men that were telling the women the honest truth. Just telling women what men really were thinking. A lot of us are not trying to get married immediately. A lot of us are not looking for masculine energy women. We're looking for a real, loyal, submissive woman. And a lot of women hate that word submissive. Because in their mind, that means we want to walk all over you. When in reality, we just want you to embrace your femininity and embrace your role as our woman. Our woman. That means let your man lead the way. You embrace the role as being the support. Now, when I can't lead anymore, then yes, you come in and take the reins. But it doesn't mean you just take the reins all the time. It doesn't work that way, and it isn't right to think that it works that way because at the end of the day, this is how relationships fuck up. I'm just being honest. So now all these women are hurt because they have spent all this money investing in Derrick Jackson's rhetoric, thinking that the perfect man like Derrick Jackson exists. You got some men out here who really fell for his bullshit and tried to act like the way he claimed to act with women. And in reality, he was selling everybody false bullshit. Let me tell y'all something. You don't need a relationship guru to figure out life when it comes to these relationships. It's just common sense. You know what I'm saying? If you've made a mistake in life and you choose the wrong mate or the wrong baby daddy or baby mama or whatever you got going on in your situation, this is where you sit back and you look at how you made the mistake. You learn of the warning signs from that mistake and you just try to make better choices. Now, if you make a mistake again, it happens the second time around. But at least by the second time around, you will know the warning signs. You will know, oh no, this ain't it. That's people that are really serious about trying to find true happiness and being compatible with someone that has their back. But the problem, especially in the black community, we don't want to do that. We likes to pander to women who, at the end of the day, being lied to through the pandering. So they lose themselves. And once you lose yourself, how can you love someone if you can't find yourself? So the moral of the story is, ladies and gents, quit listening to these Self-help gurus. If the joke and time sound too good to be true, in the gym, muscular, you know, uh, 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 taking pictures with his wife every damn other day. Listen, I love my wife. I don't have to take pictures with her every other damn day. I don't have to take a picture with her every fucking week. Hell, I don't have to take a picture with my wife every fucking month. It's the way we vibe. When people see us, they know it's love. They ain't got a question. When people first see me and meet me and my wife, first thing they say, yo, that's love right there, dog. <sighs> ain't, ain't no question about that. That's how it's supposed to be. That's what's wrong with us. We done took relationships and allowed social media to influence us in this fantasy world that does not fucking exist. When you love someone, it will show. When you don't love someone, it will show. So, in other words, quit trying to force shit that ain't there and quit trying to be like everyone else if you know you don't fit that mold. All I got to say. But getting back to Miss Denea Jackson, everybody pray for this lady because she going to need it. Because this woman has sacrificed her time 
for a piece of shit husband who used her to get to the way he wanted to get to in his uh, YouTube career or social media career, book writing career. And now he is living his best life and making sure that she suffer because of it. He could have cut this cord off a long time ago. When he got caught last year and on the 21st of May, he should have walked away. Listen, I like big asses and fake titties. I want to leave. That's what he should have done. That's all he should have said. And he should have walked out the door and let that woman live her truth and her life. But he did not do that because he was so worried about an image that now he'll never get back because everybody know you're a fraud now. Who going to buy your shit? A man who cheated on his wife with multiple women, allegedly got one pregnant, and then turned around and you, you tricking off with another one in Miami and flew the chick out. Nobody ain't going to believe you, man. Who fucking with that? Nobody is. I'm just being honest. Nobody is messing with you. I, I mean, that's just, that's just facts. Anyway, y'all, jump in the comment section. Tell me what y'all think. Please like, share, subscribe. If you like this content over here on American Hip Hop channel, thank you very much. Have a great night or a great day or great morning whenever you see this.